la chulu o tupu ba le sifoi to to ulu la chulu o mai o la tul va tele o le ta yao ba le le lu pe ta ale ma malu mo pe ya me sifoi fa fa i le tua wa mai a ona bi i le tua mo na lofa what for initial and I'll be not saying I'm a lot of your lot of my malu. Yeah, I've tied it to a lot of my foot to my. I do a bang a little tattoo. I'm more nature. Yeah, there was so many sooners. But for my ear, doctor and tour. Yeah, my little my tire and doctor Anderson. I'd like to welcome you to this morning. I we know you have uh, learned of why we are here and the reason why we are you're here today with us. This is the Senate chamber. These are the honorable senators of the legislature of the uh, government of American Samoa. Uh, welcome, Talofa Bula. I'd like to give this chance to you to make a initial statement for, before we start. Yes. Tayao Manuia. E mu mua pe le vi inga le atua mo le ne ya su fo o mo wai le ava noa fa ati no wai le ngad wenga a wa le tau tua ina le tato atu nu pe le o America Samoa. E mo mo le le anganga fa tai le prestene o le senate. Lo wa fionga to our olo ma naya fruin. Le tai tai, le fono le komiti, so i fuo ma lo lo ina. Lo wa fionga to yasina, Dr. Salamo, lau moli, fa apea o tai tai o le maota. Uma fai yai on a tato feloai. Loto luma le ne tai al fo. Ya te au le anganga ma walunga, ma le faf tai. Uma fai yai on a tu lai yatu. Fa asuani mata upu ile nei taiao. Fa tai lava ile nei ava noa matango fie le nei taiao manuia. I say yo liliu le fa apir taania. Honorable President of the Senate, Tua Olo Manaya Fruin, Chairman of the Senate Committee, Honorable Tuyasina, Dr. Salamola Moli, and members of the Senate. It is an honor and privilege for me to appear before you this morning. My name is Dr. Jean Anderson, and I'm a clinical psychologist by training and education. Over the past three years, I have been blessed to have the opportunity to serve on the hospital board from March 2021 to March 2023, and then as a consultant and member of the executive team. Together, Dr. Lindua and I have worked hard to help move LBJ forward. Just within the last year, we have made a number of changes and there is still a lot of work to do to make LBJ Hospital a hospital that our people deserve. It is with that reason that I'm here this morning. I'm here to express my concerns regarding some of the decisions being made by the LBJ board that directly affects not only the improvements at LBJ, but also not in the best interest of the people of this island. Recently, the LBJ board made a decision to terminate the contract for Dr. Lane Dua as the CEO, and also to terminate the independent contract of myself as a consultant and member of the executive team. The concern is the timing of the termination of our work with LBJ. It comes at a time when both Dr. Lindua and myself were uncovering issues regarding grant funding and spending of grant monies. Specifically, we have uncovered issues related to two EMS grants that have been coming to LBJ for EMS, as well as EMS funding that comes to LBJ from the Medicaid office. In January of this year, I was contacted by Department of Search and Rescue and EMS with a plea for my Elfanga Dwenga Sarmale EMS, Jean Famole Mole, Faya Dr. Lane Dua, Emanga Omia Pau, 
or the EMS vehicles, or the tupe le ala mowat LBJ, or the tupe fa pitoa mo le EMS, or the ala mafu anga, or the fa nga inga the kupe le mo le reason for EMS. I started to work with SAR and EMS, and then I was told by the board that I could not do this, and I was told to stop. Any communication, any meetings with SAR and EMS. Dr. Lane Dua was also instructed by the board that they were not happy with me and for me to stop what I was doing. I was trying to understand Dr. Lane Dua and myself because there was also evidence to show that one of the board directors gave instruction to the LBJ CFO to make a payment for $80,000 to a vendor using funds from the EMS grant. EMS and SAR, I asked them, did the EMS receive any goods or services from this $80,000 payment? No tires, no materials, no supplies. In addition, we found that one of the board director's wife was being paid under another EMS grant that goes as far back as 2013. This same board director was on the LBJ board back in 2013 when the same issue was brought up by two previous CEOs. Okay, thank you, uh, Dr. Jean, uh, thank you. for your presentation this morning. I'd like to give a chance to Dr. Lendo for a summary of uh, what you think happened. First day, uh, the uh, Honorable uh, President uh, of the Senate, uh, the Honorable Chairman of the uh, Senate uh, Health Committee, and the uh, Honorable Members uh, of the Senate. Uh, I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, thank you for giving uh, me this opportunity to be here uh, to uh, uh, present uh, on uh, the agenda and the reason why I was, uh, why we are called in uh, today uh, in relation uh, to the uh, uh, termination uh, of our work and our role uh, for me as a CEO uh, and uh, for Dr. Anderson as the uh, uh, COO. Uh, thank you very much uh, for that, sir. Uh, on, uh, August 21, I was uh, uh, informed verbally uh, by the chairman of the board after uh, a board meeting uh, in the morning that I was part of uh, initially and I was excused uh, from that board uh, meeting about an hour later uh, for them to uh, appoint the chief medical officer. So I uh, left the, uh, uh, the, the boardroom and uh, I was informed uh, later at the end of the day uh, that I was uh, uh, no longer uh, the CEO of the hospital effective immediately. Uh, it was so 21st, sorry. Uh, yes. 21st of August. Yeah, yeah. On the 21st of August. Oh. Yeah, so I was told to uh, uh, vacate my office and to uh, return the vehicle that I was using, uh, which I did. Uh, I uh, cleared all my personal belongings in the office uh, and uh, I uh, uh, took it home and on the same evening I returned uh, the vehicle uh, for the CEO uh, that I was using. Uh, two days later, I received the uh, written uh, termination letter from the board uh, that stated that the basis uh, for termination uh, is a failure of duty and unsatisfactory performance, uh, as well as violations of the uh, American Samoa Medical Center's policies and procedures. Uh, it was uh, generalized and it specifically stated that I did not follow the directive set forth by the board regarding the management of contracts committed LBJ financial assets without prior approval from the board of directors did not adhere to local immigration laws for foreign contract workers and engage in other similar conduct. Uh, as I said, it was more general, uh, and it seems to me that there was uh, a difference of opinion 
uh, between the board and what I was doing uh, in my role as a CEO. Uh, I would like to uh, inform uh, the uh, honorable uh, members uh, of the Senate this morning that you know, since I started work at LBJ Hospital in 2002, uh, my focus and my role uh, has been to take care of patients and to save people's lives. Uh, that was when I started in 2002, and that focus, that goal, that vision never changed. It uh, remained the same, even though I was having, uh, you know, uh, functioning and working from different capacity in the hospital, from just uh, an orthopedic surgeon, uh, then I later became uh, the uh, chief of staff, the vice chief of staff of the hospital, the chief of staff, I became the chief medical officer, and then in February of 2023, last year, I was the uh, acting uh, CEO that was later confirmed in July of 2023. As I said, I was performing my role to the best of my ability, knowing that this is my calling, uh, and I was performing uh, that uh, to fulfill the mission and the vision of the hospital, and that is to provide uh, patient focus, high quality, safe, and comprehensive uh, health care that our people deserve. That is what I was performing all throughout these past 22 years of service that I have. Uh, and I would like to thank, uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to serve uh, our people uh, here over the past 22 years. It has been uh, a joy, as I said. I feel that it was not a duty, it was not a job. I feel that it was a calling that I come here because when I first moved to American Samoa, there was no orthopedic service on this island. Okay. So I decided to move here to serve in that capacity because I know there is a need. And I know I have something that I can contribute to this community to uh, uh, help people uh, meet their health care needs. That was in 2002, and as I said, that focus and that vision never changed. Up until the day I was let go of my, my work, my role as a CEO, that never changed. That is my calling, and that was my calling that I was doing to the best of my ability. Thank you. First time. Yeah, thank you for your wonderful presentation. Before I give the chance for the honorable senators for their questions, and yeah, the hospital, LPG Hospital, is the most respected institution because of the nature of its uh, uh, responsibility, moral, uh, moral responsibility. And uh, what happens to the hospital concerns everybody, really affects everybody, especially the Senate and the legislature, the governor. And uh, the truth is, you are the most likable physician on the island. We believe that most of the people, even the, the Senate, believe in your moral capacity, moral responsibility, and moral belief. Yeah, as a doctor and as a leader. But the decisions of the board, according to the law, is the decision of the board. This morning, we just wanted to give you the chance to present yourself, to be fair, and have the, the, the honorable senators share with you their feelings and the questions they have and some uh, of the things that they, they want you to stay, let me say, properly. Even though you're no, you're no longer the CEO, we need your service as a doctor, as a physician, as an orthopedic surgeon. We need it. And uh, I'll give them the chance for, to share their words of thought, uh, appreciation with you this morning. And also, Dr. Chin, yeah, Marlon Mota, yeah. You and have a more so to Saudara. I did it too. Thank you, 
Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Dr. Letunga and Jean. We have no business uh, regarding the board's decision. I talked with the chairman of the board. He came to my office. Senator Soli, I was present. The chairman did not bad mouth you. I asked him why they release you. And he told us that you didn't comply with the, just like the contract that you signed with the <coughs> dialysis from outside. They didn't go through the board. You and, I don't know, Senator Tu Yang Amo asked, oh, boy, you. Uh, they mentioned you, know, you and I don't know <coughs> whether you and Genio. They said that contract didn't come through the board. Is that true or not? No, it is not. Uh, I, before the signing of the contract, I uh, contacted the board and I asked them if they can uh, allow the CEO of this uh, dialysis uh, firm from uh, the US to present uh, his proposal. That was after they completed the proper bidding process. So they came uh, over and they presented, he presented the proposal of the group uh, for the dialysis service on this island. After that presentation, the board were very uh, satisfied and they were happy with the proposal uh, of uh, this group. And uh, we had a discussion and they asked him uh, what will be the next step uh, when they start uh, you know, being part of, uh, this, uh, of our partnership. And they said that they are going to build satellite dialysis uh, to help our patients. And the board said, you know, maybe we can focus first on hope dialysis because we need to continue uh, to provide dialysis service in there. So it was after that presentation that I told the board that uh, they were happy. I mean, they, they told me and they expressed uh, their satisfac uh, satisfactory uh, comments on, on, that, uh, uh, on that company, and they even recommended that he present it also to the Fono. So after that presentation, I asked the board that we were going to sign the contract after that presentation, if it was okay to go ahead. Uh, and I was, I was informed that, go ahead, we will not be part of this because uh, we got other things to do. And that was when uh, we got the media and we signed the contract. And even during the interview, I acknowledged that the board have given us the green light because that was my understanding from that discussion that they are aware of uh, the proposal that this company brought on board. Ani Chini, I find the phone on the board. Is this if I'm a mower, me go kill the phone? Yes. There are minutes for this. Yes. Ongo the kile o kuwa inga yesa o o ili siri Chini. Kile o fa ya kuwa mesa. Inga nga la inga avela fa kuwa nga ili chairman fa kuwa loi. Pem fa yong kolo le hearing yong e poli a. President, <coughs> I have a foul like a record. A cangy Fasanga el Porte Fasa or me, a pro, pui pui or yo. The Ne Lava President, Elisa Popo Lenga, every decision that we made, Sila Fia for Dr. Lendua, we consult with the LBJ attorney, Thomas Jones. O mea umaya le, umaya le board. For the chairman for you. May I uma ya lay wa uma ngay law a the attorney and LBJ? No, la officili o e mavo fawe ki o le korde 
e sule board e fa sa o i mingi e de ko i ngo o i mingi thank you pres i have no intention to sue the hospital it is not my i have every intention actually to return back to the hospital if lbj needs my help if not i have a private practice i'm a mental health doctor very busy with the work i do but my heart is with lbj i have no intention to sue lbj thank you president me konga ngarenka ofia kolo me nga lengo ofia kula nga fa peo e saungi o e suunga ngo le ofia kula ki o mingi la ngo o me o mo ye di si me o me yo la ko i ai o e o lo comprehensive psychological services ren aver le abj se la umar ka si afe is it true or not Yes, and this is the contract, President, members of the Senate, that was approved by the board in March 2023. As a board director, to assist priorities and initiatives that we were working on. So I said to the board, I will stay and provide my services as a consultant but private practice. This comprehensive psychological services, that has been my private practice for almost 20 years. With DOE, with the VA, with Social Security to provide evaluations. So I said to LBJ, I agree to stay. Private practice. And this is all pres in the minutes approved by the board and the rate was actually the rate proposed by the board. So, SL Mele, SL Consultancy Fee, SFL Consultancy Fee, you charge uh, LPJ 36,000. I press, Ekasia Konkalake, Lalo Le Comprehensive Psychological Services, Mole Scope of Work, Ole Consultancy Services. Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a cons, cons, uh, consultancy fee. Lay. Okay, I only put special meeting stipend or your own office. I lay Umala Utemi Lungale board. I was on the board for two years, from March 2021 to March 2023. Sayaya Lungale board. That was the time I was entitled to the stipend that all board directives receive. Well, umala la time le board March 2023. Wongakala ile stipend langa wale ko yaya ulunga le board. Time na. What do you mean, Samoan Ventures? The 25,000 there, boy. Well, the Samoan Ventures press members of the Senate. I have a lodging and rental car business that I have been providing for the territory for close to 15 years. With researchers that come from different universities to do research in American Samoa. Some of it is to the mental health, or is it to the medical. So, this is also my own business that I provide. I have business license. Everything was open and transparent. Every now and then, the board requests of me, the CEO, Gene. We have a team coming in. Can you provide service to that team? And this was all reviewed with the legal of LBJ president. So, oh, oh, car rental, I have a CFO rental at 23,000. So, made our company. Ile Amakanga wa hiring a CFO president. A solid CFO, yao, Malankalusanga, for my gene. I understand that you have vehicles. I would like to lease a vehicle as the CFO. I don't want to drive two. One, I don't want to drive a vehicle that has an MS license plate. He said, I don't want people to know what car I drive. I don't want to deal with Samo Motors. I want a Toyota Tundra. I said, okay, I will help you as the CEO. I'm going to contact Toyota. 
I contact Asko Toyota, Marikalo Sanga, be my final face Lisi, direct with LBJ. Molekalo Sanga Lea the CFO. I have everything in the email, president and members of the Senate. This is all written. Opa keki umaya. Na avile board. That is my only disappointment to the board. Pela le le kulanga le wey Dr. Lendua. All these accusations, president and members of the Senate, I have two written statements that I gave to the board. One on July 3rd and one on July 19th. Ole mafu anga ob statements. Na saule lo ya ya LBJ lawyer and he was concerned and he said, "Gene, they are making these accusations against you, but they're false and I know because all of these things you consult with me as well as the CEO." So I submitted all of my written documentation to them. President, members of the Senate, not one time was I asked to come before the board and meet with the board to discuss. I emailed the board, I requested meetings, not once was I asked to come in and meet with the board. It wasn't until I received my letter that said LBJ was no longer in need of my services. Thank you. Yes. no longer needing my services. Okay, if you have a contract or it's a clause, they can remove you for cost or without cost. There is no clause, um, President. The only thing that's in the contract is I'm entitled to compensation for 120 days for my services. Why change my position? So called Louis Falmai, Yinga Wing at Falmai, and made Thank you, President, for the question. As the Chief Operating Officer for LBJ, Lisila Mulwenga. Kalosanga may le board may le CEO, a supporter of the engineering and maintenance. So I directly oversee the engineering and maintenance department, which also is responsible for the projects. Now, as we see, LBJ is going to start many of our projects. One of those projects is the morgue and the chapel. President, to answer your question, I never received a call from any company or vendor my concern is I received a call from a board director. What? Yes. What do you say? Re I, I received a call from the LBJ and LBJ board director. Oh. What's the call about? The call was to direct me as the COO to sole source the Moore Chapel project to a particular individual. But the chairman of the board of Falmai, a wing alarm car opening, a little out of Famacana Manichin. Yeah. Ola Fanga Kay of City, Lang, a couple of them were in San Co, if you most have them were like of City. Just one question. After I love of young and pristine, I know of Tai Molly, and I'm to South of Tai South Noa. Am I question from, is that uh, individual? A member of the board or works in the hospital? No. The, the individual that, uh, that the, the contract was so supposed to. The request from the board director was to sole source the project 
to somebody outside of LBJ. Okay, that's that's that. The director of the board was a member of the board. Member board. Member of the board. board of Honorable directors. Senator Solia. Yeah, the fiora is doing more. So I let me fiora start daily. Thank you, Mr. Mulovno, for calling for Jean, Dr. Lito. Thank you for coming today. I know it's late, but we have to go through this hearing. Uh, first of all, uh, I wish to thank you, Ledua, for your patience for what's been going on. I know we all surprised for this uh, termination they came up about your job. Did they, how did they advise you that you're terminated? Did they verbally tell you or they write you, wrote you a letter? I was verbally informed. They told me first, and two days later, then I was given the letter, mm. honorable uh, member. Because when you were you aware that we had a hearing with the poor this morning, and when we asked the chairman the, the reason uh, the, why they gave you this uh, termination notice, and uh, he said that most of the decisions you make not according to the board law or, or the hospital law. They, they've been advising you that you have to follow the law of the board or the LBJ, and yet you don't listen. You keep talking to, I also ask them, who are these people you're talking with them about uh, the board's decision? Uh, and they said it's some of the employees of the LBJ. And then uh, they, that's the only reason to me that they, they make this decision on your termination, because you don't listen to them. But for your information, they said uh, your doctor position is not affected. You can still work as a doctor, but your CEO uh, position is terminated. Did they let you know about that? I was informed about that uh, verbally, uh, but that was not in the uh, letter uh, that they have written. Uh, Honorable uh, Senator, I also want to uh, say a few things in regards to uh, uh, not following the law. I don't want and I have no intention to break any law. Any decision that I make in my position as a CEO, I consult our legal counsel before anything, any major decision is done. I do not follow what the board wants, especially if I feel that that is unethical and that is against the law. I want, I fight for truth and righteousness. And if I am told something that I believe is not ethical, and it is not true, and I know I will compromise my faith in that situation, I will stand and put my foot down and speak up against that. I want truth and righteousness, and that is what I represent, Honorable Senator. On uh, these uh, five members of the board, uh, LBJ board, do you think there's some of the members of the board, they don't like you? As I said, it might be a difference in opinion. Uh, I love everybody and anybody. If anyone say he doesn't like me, I still tell that person, I love you. <laughs> that is who I am. You know, if anybody doesn't like me, I would say that that is that person own opinion, and we cannot control uh, and, and change anybody's opinion. Uh, that is their opinion, and if they don't like me, that is fine with me, you know, but I still like them. You know, the door, the, you are loved by the Samoan people, mm -hmm. and we need you here. Uh, we hope that you don't uh, uh, 
don't come back as a doctor. Forget about the CEO position, but we need you here as a doctor. Over 20 years of your service here, the people love you and they like your service. So that's my request. Okay. I hope you don't consider this other decision they gave you, but uh, your love for the Samoan people. Uh, that's why uh, we want you to stay here. Take your doctor position and let them do what they ever want to do with the CEO. But on the uh, Chin's side, So you can still serve the people through the LBJ. And lastly, I, I wish to thank you, Ledu and Jean, for helping me out when I came from Hawaii. I need a bed, so I asked you if you can give me a bed that suits the, the, the condition I am. And I did get the bed. Thank you very much. First God bless you. Yeah. Thank you, Honorable yeah. Senator Tuyangamo, for your encouraging remarks. Appreciate it. Just one question. You have been serving on the board for 20 years. Who's the longest member currently on the board? Who's the longest member of the board? Do you know? Do you know? Serving, still serving. I think the longest serving member is uh, the Honorable Representative Allen. Allen. Yes. Yes. Uh, probably over 10 years now. As far as I remember, when I was the uh, Chief Medical Officer in 2012, he was already in the board. Uh, I don't know what year did he leave the board, but I remember he came back in 2022 to join the board. 2012 and 2022 up to yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Satelle. <laughs> I just want to convey uh, my appreciation for your service. Yeah, and you are dedicated to your profession. You know, and Samoan people really appreciate that, American Samoa. No questions about your service, you know, as a doctor, like since 2002 up to now. So we really, I really, people in my district appreciated you. Uh, Anderson, Dr. Anderson, very few of you, you know, always in your mind come back and serve the people. So with that, really appreciate it. And I say, obviously, the young Makaupula, you know, and they know it is saying, I can't put I see. 
me o re fai e lem fai e se nga ke ko e sui le fai u ngal po but that's I, I like to take this opportunity to tell to convey that I appreciate it you know your service e e lo mau le ka fai ko a e le fa pe o la u mai le ka ko i roi lo ma e lo mau fa nga fu ai le le u fa lo ngol ngol mo ka so ngol place king so ngol fo i le su ngai fo ma ya le fo ka ko fa lo ngol ya fa nga fu ai ya ya ka ko mon mau I saw Skemi, young girl, a laugh for the old mocker. Pure of what was so aku, Maleava, Kemuseco Isimia, Aga or reputation, O Cacaleo la fear, O la fear. Ya, Pioza, Wakuala, Le Caco Moka, I live a Pioza, Capunia, Cofingalo, our Maunga, Wavacuirumol, Caco Moka, five titles. Thank you. Thank you. It's a shock, a very shocking to, to be in this situation. I did not imagine that uh, a board that we trust the medical with our f health of our people could create a, an issue of based on our truthfulness. I don't know what to do, how to suggest, but I think the governor ought to do something about the appointments of the board. Uh, <clears throat> there's no nothing more important than what you, the position you're in, because your credibility is on, is questionable. Your credibility and your future is on the line. I don't know what else the forno may suggest. I don't know what we can suggest, but you have to. You have no choice. You've been fired. You've been accused of certain things. And this is could, could be in your record. It could be, you know, uh, very damaging. Uh, and uh, so true. I would suggest that you pursue what you need to pursue to clear this cloudy, the cloudiness of this issue. But we don't want you to go. We want your service. And as always, thank you for the job you do. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Malaysia have lowered prestige. So, yeah, I'm Muli. But I have to love Fiong at the committee in Bolivar. No, what will have Fiong at prestige? The Maul Motor, the Patulo was. Tarofa to ever two more. To my tiny two child, Mon Mau. I have one question or two. If they remove your title from the CEO, can you work as a doctor in our community? Please. Yeah, Honorable Senator, yes, I can Thank work uh, as a doctor. I just want to share that, you know, just like any employee who gets onto the workforce, there is a career successive path that that person has to go through. In my case, I first came in as a doctor. I've worked myself up, I've studied, and I've earned my master's degree in hospital, in mm -hmm. business administration, in healthcare management. I'm a member of the American College of Healthcare Executives. I'm a member of the American uh, uh, Association of Physician Leaders. I'm a member of the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons. So I have moved up that career path. And I am in my stage where I envision my goal of what I want to do in the future. And it is my goal that one day, instead of taking care of a patient, 
I can be taking care of an organization which has got more impact in a community than a single person that I'm taking care of. So I feel that I'm in a better position right now. What I have today, I did not have this 22 years ago. I did not have this 10 years ago. So I'm in a better position now with my credentials and with my experience now to move to that level where I need to run an organization, a healthcare organization. And just to inform the honorable uh, senators this morning, the top 25 hospitals in the US right now, most of those 25 top hospitals, the CEOs are doctors. And these are doctors like me who have done the credentials and the studies and they have got the degrees that I have and the qualifications that I have. These are the top performing hospitals in the US right now. And that is where I am coming from. I mean, I can still impact and I have a big reason for this community, big reason. And if only I am given this to fulfill this vision, I would say healthcare on this island will never be the same again. Thank you. We will overhaul it and make sure that the generation to come, they will have a better healthcare to take care of their health because they will no longer be going to Hawaii, going to New Zealand, or going elsewhere for care. They, their care will be provided right here. That is my reason as a healthcare administrator right now, with the skills, with the qualification, and with the experience that I have. Fast time, Honorable Senator. What's your opinion, you and Jean, if uh, the Fondo decided to dissolve the, the board and bring the hospital back to the, to the Kamna? just like other directors, instead of this hospital authority. opinion <laughs> That means reason. I would rule well for my seat in the country. I would rule well for my seat in the country. I would rule well for my seat in the I don't know, but I would rule well for my seat in the country. I would rule well for my seat in the country. I would rule well for my seat in the country. The uh, Honorable uh, President, uh, I would say that I believe that anything that hinders progress to better health care on this island, that needs to be taken care of. The goal is not an individual, the goal is not the board, the goal is health care for our people in the years to come. We need a better health care for our people. And if there is anything that is, that is going to prevent this from happening, we should seriously think about that and make a decision on that. And I understand that the honorable senators have got that wisdom. And it is my prayer that God will also grant us that wisdom to make the right decision on what needs to be done for the people that is coming after us. Well, my advice to you, Dr. and Jeannie, whoever hates you, <laughs> kill them with kindness, okay? <laughs> Thank you.
Sim. Olha só lá, ele é poeta. Ele é muito bom. Ele é muito bom. Ele é muito bom. Ele é muito bom. Ele é muito Ele é muito bom. Ele é muito bom. Ele é Ele é muito bom. Ele é muito bom. Ele é Ele é Ele é muito bom. 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 Ele é Ele é muito bom. Ele é muito bom. Ele é Ele é muito Ese pisa, pela na alu aun merga, le dua, what I said during our time, the president of the stand and myself were in a lab in the, in the hospital. The only the administrator, the administration was on smooth, no problem. The medical director. Yeah. The medical director. The medical director. And then, uh, if you agree with that to solve this board, then we are, uh, have a resolution to the governor to solve the board of the House of the Court the, the, the way that we, are, we had before. Tell, tell us this morning, I mentioned this uh, in the Senate this morning, the governor, the governor, you had a meeting with the governor, the governor doesn't want you to leave. Would you, uh, uh, what else did the governor ask you? The Honorable Governor asked me what is my plan and whether I uh, can uh, return, and I told him, yes, I can. Yeah. The first of Yeah. Yeah. On behalf of the Senate, the President and the member of the Senate, thank you for the coming. Thank you for your comment. This is our concern. We, we want our health to be good. Thank you for your coming. And the phone will discuss later on what the decision is going to be to solve the problem. Honorable Senator Soli Ai. On behalf of Dr. Lin Duan myself, Fafzai Lava Molene of Anoa, Lene Tayao Manuia. God bless all of you, the Senate, leaders of our country. We trust you and we thank you.